What's good, Black Talk Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, you know, today we're gonna be doing a review video from Kendra G. And um, this one's gonna be a hot ass mess. So keep uh, keep in mind you've been warned. Also, I will be posting the link to the descript to the video down below to the to the people that keep on commenting, talking about you talk too much. Go watch the video. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to share our screen. we we'll share our screen. And we're going to get, we'll get into this because this is a hot fucking mess. You ready? Yeah. Okay, what's your name, honey? Veronica. Okay, you're not the Veronica that just got exposed by your ex-husband, Ru well, your husband, Rudy, are you? No, I'm the Veronica where your cousin told me. I don't know if it was. Wait, your Wi Fi is acting up now, too. Wait, hold on. Your Wi Fi is acting up, too. Hello? Okay, I'm going to stay in my living room. Can you hear me? You're frozen on my screen. Okay, this is better. You're live again. That's better. And you got to stop moving. So you said you're the Veronica, what? Um, your cousins like clown me. I don't know if you guys couldn't hear me. You were saying something about a lab or something where I had to wait a couple seconds to answer questions. And like, I don't know, they couldn't really understand me. Like, um, I was saying I'm CBRF certified. They were saying I'm CPR certified. And it was just a whole lot. It's been a while though. Okay, we could do it again, but you gotta make sure your Wi-Fi is good this time. You ready? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. V. V, how old are you? I'm 30. 30. 30. What do you do for a living? Um, I, I do a lot. Um, I'm a healthcare provider. Um, right now I'm at Walmart. I kind of bounce all over. Um, I make wigs. Um, I kind of do oh, a lot. Okay. I'm in school. How old are you, um, V? Are you 30? So what do you want me to what what do you what do you want me to write for your profession? Um entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. And but it's wigs, healthcare provider, and Walmart. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the elephant in the fucking room here. All this shit she just said. Invalid. Cause we know she ain't. We know she's just one of these struggle ass. Um, we've um a hair. It's not because we can obviously see the struggle ass wig on her damn head. So yeah. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two. How old are your two kids? I have a three-year-old and I have a six-year-old. Are, are they by the same man? Hell no. 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 Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? You did this last time. Um. We're going to do it again. <laughs> I don't remember. OK. And it's a, it's a OK, I um, I'm not with him. I'm not with him because he's just not right. He he's Hispanic, okay? He's not black. So he was right enough to have a kid by. Okay. Um, he's like, I would say a leech. He don't wanna he I'm like the man of the relationship. He don't wanna do the things he's supposed to do, like far as going to work and getting a job. Like So you met a pook so you met a Hispanic Pookie and Ray Ray and he did you like he does Maria. Sit up on you and lay at home while he eating his burritos and fucking fucking you. Yay, whoop the fucking do. How you like that? Oh wait, you're on Kendra G's show because you could uh you got a baby by uh two different men that ain't shit. Hmm. Okay. Like working the legal way. He wants to work the illegal way. So like yeah, get started. I'm gonna be honest with you. Your Wi-Fi is not V, your your Wi-Fi's not on your side, honey. So you said this is the other oh, time we had a lag. 
Her Wi-Fi ain't on her side and that wig ain't on her fucking side. Take that shit off. Your Wi-Fi isn't isn't on your side tonight either. Okay, let's stay right there. Let's see if this works. Now, what did you say the reason you're not with your child's father that's three years old? He's not. He's he don't have his shit together. Put it like that. He's not. He's not a man. He he doesn't have have his things down pack of what a man should be. He's not in order. He's just all over the place with it. Can I ask you a question? Was he ever in order? Nope. Before when we we are high school sweethearts, so yes, I, I would say he he was in order before he was. I'm not gonna lie, he was. He what? had it. No, you he was not, bitch. Stop lying. What high that school? Well, high school is a high school is not fair because high school is high school, child. Yeah, we, I would say up until we were 21, we stopped. We broke bad at 21. Put it like that. Let me ask you this: you 16, said that you want. Okay, what was you gonna say? From 16 to 21, we broke bad. So okay, like you're 30 years old. Okay, you're 30 mm -hmm. years old. Your baby's three, so you got pregnant at 26. Yeah, maybe right. We had a first, we had a first, we had a miscarriage. We had our first child back in 2015, and that was a stillborn baby. That was like our first child, and like soon after we lost our baby, everything just it broke bad. He started another relationship right away, and. It just went down from there, and it was like he would continue to come back and dip in my life, and then dip back out. Just no, dip. no, no, hell no! I refuse to let y'all asses say that shit in a nice way. No, he came back to dip in your guts and to dip back out. That's what the fuck he did. Stop the fucking cap. The man came. Fucked you and left. We gonna stop trying to damn hold. We gonna stop trying to hold this shit back. You bent your ass over on that couch, got that dingling, and you got pregnant. Okay. We ain't go. We ain't gonna just allow y'all to just sit here and say, oh. He came into my life and he did back out. It broke bad. No, he didn't see you as a as any value to anybody. In and out. Well, I'm very sorry you lost your child. Your your baby was stillborn. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I want to ask this question. Let me just ask this question directly. When you were dealing with him, did you know he was in the streets? No. No. So when you got you knew him since y'all was in high school and you telling me you didn't know that he was in the streets I smell a I smell a bullshit sandwich and it ain't the good kind I got a feeling I'm gonna go off in this one I just got a certain feeling pregnant with your three-year-old child you what did you think his job was well when i got pregnant with my three-year-old child like i said we were dipping we wouldn't i wasn't in a relationship with him what did you think what did you think what did you think what did no kendra no let me be let me be your anger translator bitch answer the goddamn question what did you think his job was before you got pregnant with him by your three-year-old child what did I think his job was? What do you mean? Like, what What do I think his because job was? Because you're telling me. You know what the fuck she's saying. What did the motherfucker do? What was his employment? Stop the bullshit. Y'all. Mm, yep, I'm getting mad. Y'all, see, y'all on that bullshit now. Y'all on that bullshit. And y'all be over here talking about, what do you mean? What job did he have? Bitch, it's exactly the fucking question you just asked. You trying to fucking bullshit with that blue ass wig on. Which you need to take the fuck off because it does not match any fucking thing you got on. You got on green and a green bra and a blue wig. How the fuck does that make sense? Me because I asked you why you are not with a three year old child, and rightfully so. You said he's in the streets. He doesn't want to get his life together. He doesn't, and I and those are all good reasons. But I'm trying to figure out. No, the hell it ain't. She dealt with this ass. She had a baby bomb. Shit, that was all the reason that she had that she needed. She wanted some dick. She got some dick, and she got a kid after that too. Did you get pregnant with him knowing those things? 
So I'm asking you, what did you think his job was before you got pregnant by him? Look at the damn gears turning in her damn cranium. Yeah, she she's trying to think of a fucking lie. Mm -hmm. To hit it and quit it, it was just it was booty calls. It was just oh. us just not working the relationship. It was just we were just v, having sex. V, honey, v, v, honey. You big dummy. You're not answering my question. My question is very clear, and I know the cousins be getting mad, but this is why at times it's a challenge with women because y'all just won't answer the question. The question is quite simple. What did you think his occupation was when you was having sex with him? I mean, hey, he didn't have an occupation at the moment. I mean, he was. I'm not going to lie. He. So you gave him that ass. Mm, you know what? I can't wait to cook your ass when you do that, Kendra Cam. was working, but. Okay. So, I, but listen, I'm just trying to get you to realize you knowingly was participating with him in that way. So you 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 said the reason you're not with him is the same thing you accepted with about him. Like you were sleeping with him knowing he was all those things. You didn't he didn't lie to you. That's who he was. And you move forward with him and end up getting pregnant. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to help you take some accountability in knowing yeah. No, don't help her take no damn accountability. She should already have it. You need to start holding their asses to the fucking fire because you the problem too. They asses be coming on this goddamn show trying to, and you be over here babying them. No, hell the fuck no. Babying has gone out the fucking window for 2024. Time to hold them hoes to the fucking fire and daggone let, let it all out. It's time out for that shit. I'm, I'm tired of y'all women trying to damn sit over here and act like these broads is all saints. These bitches ain't no damn saints. She literally told you to your damn face that she bent the fuck over for this dude when she knew that this motherfucker weren't, wasn't shit, wasn't working. And she over here trying to spin a damn lie. And I'm about to smack every motherfucking lie she about to say that's going to come out of her damn mouth. You can see the steam coming off of that engine block because she done blown her damn head gasket. Who you got pregnant by? But this is the end of the like this. Overall, overall, this is a real challenge for women in general. No, I have at up. times with the show because it's almost like women do not want to admit that there is an accountability factor in these relationships. They just want to focus on the man. But I think if we could focus on the facts, we could learn from the mistakes and move forward. Mm -hmm. No, it's called it's called hold that shit in they damn face saying this is what your stupid ass did and this is why you getting the fucking reason the fucking results you getting it's time out for that bullshit of oh let's be soft and dainty with these hoes no I ain't doing that shit I'ma call the bullshit like it is if you ask me I agree. I agree. No, okay. you don't. Shut up. All right. So now that we got there, and, and and the question would have been very simple if you would have just answered it when I was asking you, girl. But let's keep going. No, because it's a whole story behind it. I really want to get in deep to how I got pregnant. It's a story be how how I got pregnant. Like I was saying, we was dipping and dabbing in like the. Here's the story in a simplified manner. You bent your ass over on the bed. He piped you down. Gave you the good. The good dick and you fucking slap slop gave him that sloppy knob. He busted all inside your guts and boom, nine months later you had a baby. Was that simple enough for you? You gotta say, oh, I got you gotta make a whole goddamn lie. Shh, shut the fuck up. The whole world know, everybody know. People around me. The way I got pregnant is okay. I had was in a relationship with a white man and I had made a status on Facebook stating, you know, like I'm no longer going to be available. I'm, I'm not going to be single anymore. And my baby dad hopped in my inbox that night. Oh, can we sleep together one more time? I see you found you a man. You doing you. I'm doing me. Great. I slept with him that one night. My and use a hoe. So what the fucking do? You was in a relationship with a man, a white man, and the white man took you with your damn sink, your one kid and your baby daddy hopped in your DMs talking about, hey, yo, let's get some damn, let's, let, let me get that, let me taste that for one last time. And then he magically comes over to your daggone house, or you go over to his house, and he blow your back out. And now, 
Y'all got his baby together. And you on Kendra G show. Okay. Mind you, we always slept with protection. No, y'all don't. Shut up. He slipped the condom off. Mind you, to this day, after we slept together, he slipped the condom off of me to not knowing because he was hitting it from the back. Really? And he announced he sipped the condom off and he laughed. A month later, I was pregnant. Still to this day, he he laughed about it like it's a joke. Still to this he he knowing his doing, we had been sleeping together. Mind you, we lost our baby in 2015. He's been the only man I've been sleeping with. It took for him to 2020 to get me pregnant. And the way he got me is he slipped the condom off and he knows. Hold up, you had a whole kid at first. So what are you talking about? He's the only man that you sleep with. Bitch, did you forget that you had two kids by two different men? You have a six year old and a not and a three year old. Are you stupid? I guess you must have forgot that you had a whole nother baby too. To this day, like he trapped me, but still at the same, same time. Me being me, yeah, I knew who I was sleeping with, but I wouldn't suspect for him to play it down like that, you know? Seriously. And not step up and be the dad. Uh, after me knowing him all these years, you know, it's been almost 13, 14 years that I've known him and it's just Bitch, come a little closer. You hold on, rewind this motherfucker. Cause let me hear that stupid shit again. Play it down like that, you know, and not step up and be the dad. You knew he wasn't shit when you got pregnant by him. You knew he wasn't shit when your ass was in high school with him. You knew he wasn't shit the whole motherfucking time. So now you magically have a child. And you think he going to step up for your dumb ass. Bitch, have you lost your damn mind? It's funny how when y'all had these babies by these ain't shit dudes. Y'all, y'all say all this shit. And y'all think that this shit makes sense to you. <sighs> I can't wait to cook your ass, Mo. Uh, after me knowing him all these years, you know, it's been almost 13, 14 years that I've known him. And it's just, it's just, wow. I don't even want to get into him. I'm you just, me it's just, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's dirty. Okay. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. So basically you... You were just trying to have enjoyment sex. Y'all had a yes. condom. He slipped the condom off, and that's yes. how you got pregnant. You still ain't shit. Words to mother. I kid you not. I, I swear that's exactly how it happened. And he laughed about it. And you know, me being me, I'm like, okay, ain't nothing gonna happen. Me, I'm at my white man house, and I'm throwing up, and I'm like, okay, it's time for my period, and for you know, oh, wait, I'm pregnant. On, so at that time, at that time, you were in a relationship with a white man. Yeah, I was starting a relationship. You know, I was, you know, we had been friends for a while and then we wanted to take it up and not sure it was like, you know, so, so talk to me. I have a question. So you slept with him while you was in a relationship with someone else? Yeah, we never had sex though. My white man, we never had sex. We were friends. But that's we not, were getting ready. I'm, just asking, I'm asking you a clear question. You we were friends. Yup, yup. Okay, this this these com these conversations be so complicated because y'all just don't be wanting to answer the questions. Child. What's I just told you we were friends. Okay, so what did you, okay? What was the Facebook status again? I met a, a friend. We're taking it up a notch. I'm no longer gonna be single because we were getting ready to get serious. So it was like, okay, now it's time to stop playing around. Cut everybody off. Let it be known. I found someone. Okay, so, so okay, we pause begin, right there. So pause. Okay, pause right mm -hmm. there. So you you made a Facebook status saying you found someone you're gonna be serious in this relationship. He hit you up and you still slept with him. Yeah, it's my I mean it's my baby's dad. I told you I was he was like we sleep together one last time and da 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 and it was like hey okay let's just one last time that's it. So he caught me on that last round. Maybe if you would have just stayed true to your Facebook post. And been with the man that you had claimed that you were about to be with. I mean, I'm not saying it's right that he slipped the condom off, so don't think that's true. But what I'm just trying to get women to understand is if you can hold yourself accountable for the re for the consequences of your actions, you can then choose better actions. And the truth yeah. be told is you should have never slept with him because you said he was in a new relationship. 
Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That's the only way to answer this question is the reality is this. You should have been loyal to the man you put out to the world you was about to be loyal to. And that's how your three-year-old child got here. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Now that we got clarity, and no, I'm not blaming your child's father. I, I mean, you guys are equal participants. Because let me tell you yeah. something else too, ladies. What y'all don't realize is the, the best flex is when your ex comes back and you're not available. That was the prime yes. opportunity for you to, to, to prove to him, like, no, you moved on. Because if you really are a good woman, because I hear everybody, y'all are good women, right? If you're a good woman, you're going to mm -hmm. find a, a better man. And then your ex mm -hmm. is going to try to see if he still got power, because that's an ego thing. Like, your ex wants to prove, like, yeah, she got a man, but I can still hit it when I, when I want to hit it. This yeah. is your prime opportunity to prove to your ex no, I got a new man and I'm not doing that. And you lost out on a good woman. But instead, you proved to him that he could still have you if he wanted to. Yeah. It's the the biggest flex learning. is not being available for your ex when he try to come back. The biggest flex Amen. is not being available for your ex when he tries to come back. That's Take that as a lesson, ladies. Now let's start, V. We got V, 30, healthcare entrepreneur. She makes, she works at Walmart. She makes wigs. My she know damn well what she was doing. She knew what the fuck she was doing. I don't, um, oh, um, y'all fucking bullshitting. I'm a two kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. When's your birthday? May 20th. Okay, May 20th. All right, May 20th. And what, what city you live in? Wisconsin. West what? Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, Milwaukee. Okay. All right, let's do it. Wisconsin. All right, V, 30, is a tourist, mom of two kids, never married, right? No. Never married. Um, has a three-year-old and a six-year-old. We got the backstory. Um, entrepreneur calling us from Milwaukee. What kind of man are you looking for now? Um, independent, someone who's looking to build, not looking to get built up. Like, I want my man already built. Someone who knows what they want. A man that's already built ain't going to be looking for a baby mama of a baby mama of two. And that's struggling with a struggle as we wig on working at struggle ass Walmart and running a struggle ass hair business that ain't in the business ain't nobody about to be looking for that okay a man that knows what he wants what are your deal breakers mm, uh, I would say liars like you um, someone who's not committed, don't know how to keep their word. Like you? Just be a man of your word. How about be a woman of your word? Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, no, not necessarily. I don't, I'm not kind of like a into the look type of girl. Really, so the bitch. looks doesn't really matter to me. Really, bitch, you was just raving about your Hispanic baby daddy. So, really? Oh, I can't wait till Kendra do you how you do this damn Kendra cam. I can't wait. Okay, what about money? So you make a certain amount of money? Hmm. Yeah, he gonna have to bring in the bacon. <laughs> what, at least a how much bacon he has to bring in? He he needs at least a couple hundred thousand a year. It, Excuse me. How much do you make a year? Let's let's ask that. You probably make fifty. You probably make fifty grand a year at best. Probably make fifty grand a year. You have a stroke ass wig on. You don't even look that attractive. Let's be honest here. 
And on top of all that, you got two kids and you talking about you want him to be stable and to bring him, bring in multiple, a couple hundred thousand dollars. If a man that's breathing and doggone sane would date you, that's making that, I would doggone drink a whole bottle of Jack Daniels. But I already know that'd be a lie. Ma'am, you are the definition of if stupidity was real. Or let me rephrase that. If fucking stupidity was a person, you in that fucked up wig would be it. At least. A couple. A couple at at least 200K a year? Yeah, at least 200K a year. So I'm assuming your three year old dad made that because he was working in the streets, right? (laughs) <laughs> no, he made 90, 90K a year. That's a damn lie. Have you ever dated a man and that was 200? Now, the streets money, I never really counted the streets money because I wasn't into that. So, like, that's a straight turn off. But as far as, like, working, he made 90K for, like, an actual job. But on the street, I never counted the street money because I never seen it. So, he was really? never around me with it. So, I can't sit there and say what he made off the street money, but. I don't know. Okay. Have you have you just curious? Have you ever dated a man that made two hundred k? Hell no. Yeah. What what was his occupation? He um he's, he had rental properties and he inherited it a lot. So like um my my rich white guy I'm telling you about. So he um he owned rental properties. He had a forty two. The rich rental white guy properties. that you had a great chance with, but you slept with the baby daddy and got pregnant. Oh, don't do like that, but yes. Oh, wow. So the guy that she cheated on made over $100,000. And now she's one of the guys that makes $100,000 again. And she's got two kids. Hmm. I can't wait to hear what these doggone brothers that's making that much money is going to say. So, did, I mean, did y'all yeah. break up once you once once you had to reveal something that you were pregnant? No, we we actually were friends for a while. You know, I never took it to the relationship part, but he was still a great guy, and it was just like I allowed for my baby daddy to like. Okay, well, hold on, he's up. not an option because I'm asking you, did you ever date a man that made two hundred k? Now you're telling me y'all were just friends. So which one is it? I mean, he was kind of. I was, he sponsored me, so sponsored we never. You. When I say date, I never mean like we never slept together, but we were working towards things. We never had sexual relationship out of the years we've known each other. Because I've known him for seven years now. I haven't talked to him in maybe two years, but I I'd known him for a while, so it wasn't like you know he's met my family, took my families on trips cabin logs a lot so like it, i would consider it kind of dating i mean i even got engaged to him so he even proposed to me you got oh boy first you said y'all was friends then you say y'all was starting to date then you say you got engaged to him what's next he married you under the damn night sky and he was in a purple or a blue Wedding dress or some shit. With purple and blue flowers or some shit. If dumb was the definition of a... Mm, shut up. Wait, I have a question. So, you guys never in life had sex? No, we were saving it for marriage. We were saving it for marriage. How- huh? Wait, 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 wait. So, you were saving... Yourself for marriage, but you had a kid by your baby daddy while you was talking to this man, and you had a kid already. The lies, the lies, the lies. And I know him. How how old was this rich white man? Huh? How old was he? Oh, he was uh fifty nine. Really. Yeah, so 59 years old. So you said he mm-hmm. sponsored you. So you, he was paying your bills and stuff? Yes, paying my bills, taking me on trips, supporting me with anything I needed. He was so, like, uh, we were friends before anything. But I mean, knowing that we wanted each other, it wasn't like, it was just like we wasn't moving fast. It wasn't like, 
he were pressuring me to do things, even though he, I, I know myself, he wanted to sleep with me, but it was just him being the man that he was. He was gentle with patience with me. He knew that, you know, I, I really don't like sex before marriage. So it's like, he was really big on that. Who doesn't yeah. like sex before marriage? I don't d- d- discourage my baby daddy, but as far as getting in the street, sleep with other men, I, I can vouch that I don't, I don't do that. So besides wait, my wait, baby wait, daddy, as far as getting in the street, like, like, hold up, wait, what? Sex before marriage. So it's like, he was really big you know, on that. Who doesn't me. like sex before marriage? I don't d- d- discourage my baby daddy, but as far as getting in the street, sleep with other men, I, I can vouch that I don't, I don't do that. Did she just lie out of the fucking pit of her crack of her mouth? That she just said that she doesn't like to have sex before marriage, but she has two kids by two different dudes before marriage. Apparently, the chemicals in that wig has interfered with the chemical balance of your brain because you sound batshit stupid. That so besides but my baby dad, that's you my have two. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, you have you have yep. two baby daddies, right? I do. So. When did you start the rule you don't believe in sex before marriage? Hmm. I'm about to cuss this bitch out. I'm I'm about to cuss her ass the fuck out. I started that kind of um, after my son, after I gave birth to my son. I mean, I've been just only sleeping with my... So basically the white guy, you didn't want to have sex with him. So what is I did, but I did it. I, you did, but you. I'm about to fucking. I'm about to. I'm about to cuss your punk ass out. I'm about to really cuss your ass the fuck out because it don't make no damn sense how stupid your ass is. This is this is what y'all want us to fucking be with. A dumbass bitch that don't know how to damn think straight. That's apparently she high as a damn kite because you can't be this damn stupid and delusional. You can't be. I did, but I didn't. I didn't no, want to no, add no, a new no, no, collect. No, no, no. Really? It's, 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 a, it's a body count thing. I- it's a body count thing, but you sleep with your baby daddy. Well, excuse me. I didn't know I was in the dog on years watching some bullshit. I don't want to add another body count. If I'm still sleeping with my baby dad, who I've been sleeping with for the last 15 years, why go add a new body count when, you know, I can just go sleep with him and get it over with and then... What was I'm the kind of man you told me you wanted again, honey? What was the kind of... What was the qualities <laughs> he said? What, what were they? People are paid to ask you questions, too. Um, you said what Ray was... Ray J, I'm going to read these first. Ray J said she was trying to get that pension. <laughs> L.W. said, Kendra, you can't make this stuff up, Miss Kendra. L.W. says, you want a man that makes 200K, please elaborate on what you're bringing to the table in the relationship. My own everything. My own business. Oh, I, learned, I didn't mention that neither. I have a own, my own business. I have an LLC. I am a um, care provider. My business is called Care For By Angels. So that my business by itself will bring that in. I've had that business for a year now. So uh, I'm now, to now, take my v, own everything. V, I'm, listen, I, I'm, yes. trying to, I'm trying to understand. So you got to stop moving. So you want a man that makes 200K and you also don't want to have sex until you're married? Is that still your rule? Um, that would be hard. I mean, but it wasn't hard for was. the fifty-nine-year-old white man. No, it wasn't because I it, we we grew into that. We grew into that. We were friends before anything, so we were friends, and then it just turned to liking each other, and then it's like, okay, so where could we take it from here? Type of thing. It wasn't no. Hey, my friend, you sponsored me. It was hey, how you doing? And it, he came to me actually. He, he came up to me and Dave and Buster. I was taking my kid out for Dave and Buster. And he just came up to I'm me and done. was like, hey, how about you pick your kid any toy in the store? Like literally anything he wanted in the store. And my son grabbed the smallest teddy bear and they just went on from there. It wasn't like. Okay, were, V, let me say like, this. So, so V, you're, you're saying you want another man like this. You want another man that's going to spoil you in this way that makes 200K. I, don't necessarily have to be no man to spoil me. I do everything. I, for, I spoil myself. I do everything for myself. Then why does a man have to make it? Okay, so with that, so but you told me that the man has to make at least 
a couple of hundred, which is I a couple is two. So two hundred K to date you. Um and you've never really dated a man that made two hundred K other than the white guy that was doing stuff for you that you didn't have sex with, correct? Oh, I, I have another friend who I have another friend, another white okay, friend. Okay, I'm, I'm actually just, so We can get me, deep. Let me, this, let me ask I, this. Go ahead. This get deep over here, Kendra. It just it, it, it may take some times, but it get deep over here, baby. I have another friend who just placed me in a uh a Hummer uh 2002 H2 sitting up on 26s and I've never slept with him either. Like all my friends are wealthy. I I come across, across wealthy friends. I don't I mean Okay, so you don't v, with that being said, V, with that being said, why call me? Why not just date these wealthy men that are buying you trucks? Taking care of your kids. What is the point of you calling me? If they're you're friends, you're Kendra. What's wrong with having friends? They're friends. No. They're well, not. honey, I'm trying to. Well, you you're bringing them up and dating. Now I'm asking you clear questions. No, this is where see, I get aggravated. This is where I get because I'm getting aggravated. So you saying dating? Because listen, honey, V, V, you, you testing my patience. So. Here is the question I'm asking you. <laughs> you bringing up these men, when I'm asking you, have you ever dated a man that has 200K? One time they're friends, one time they're not. My thing is, if you got two men who are schooling you, then girl, you got it. There's no need for you to call me. Kendra. Wouldn't that be the truth? What's your, de what's your definition of dating? Because there's two definitions of dating. There's a definition of dating. There's a definition okay, of friends. Okay, let me ask you this. What is your idea of a relationship that you're seeking? What What is the definition of a relationship? This bitch don't know up from down. To you. An ideal of a relationship? Well, I am a homebody, so someone who knows how to take care of home, someone who, who knows how to take care of a woman. The one who who know how to go work, go to work, and come home and take care of a family. So these men, so so these men are not relationships. They're because they're not these people. They're not partners. What the fuck are you offering somebody? You are literally the epitome of worthless broad. You are the literal epitome of worthless. You got this struggle ass wig on, this struggle ass business that you're talking about, and this struggle ass story that you're telling everybody. Don't nobody in the fucking world believe anything your retarded ass is saying. I'm going to keep it a fucking buck. Nobody gives a damn about you. what the hell you been through while you there. You coming on to a show and you can't even keep your goddamn lie straight. Who in the fuck is going to take you serious? Y'all, <sighs> y'all, y'all, y'all really got me fucked up. That's with you, right? I mean, they, they could be, but I'm not sleeping with anyone. Men get upset when you don't want to sleep with them. So if you, you're upset because I don't want to sleep with you, I'm going to friend zone you. I don't. If somebody sleeps with you, they lose their brain cells. Literally, somebody sleep with you, they losing their brain cells because the toxicity, the stupidity rubs off on them. Go off giving up the goodies. You're going to be my friend for anything. I'm going to I'm going to fuck your brain before I fuck what's in your pants. I want to know what's up here Bitch, before I want to know what's down there. So I come across a lot of men who don't have the patience for that. They want to. Right away, I'm not that girl. I'm sorry. It's not gonna fly like that. I want a man that's making a hundred, uh, two hundred thousand dollars ain't even gonna come near you. They won't even touch you with a ten foot pole. I know what you got up here before there. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not coming on here no, looking for somebody to hunt on right away. V, I'm huh? actually very confused. I'm very confused. I, I don't know what you're saying. I'm not. Yeah, because you're I trying know. to, you must thought it was a busted open game over here. No, it's not like that. You don't get what I'm no, saying because I'm not a freak. What I'm you are a freak, dummy. You don't have to know that I'm not going to fuck her, baby. Then you're going to be friend zone. What's so hard Well, girl, when they buy you hummers, tell them to buy you Wi-Fi. Tell them to buy you some Wi-Fi for your damn Wi-Fi. Listen, I, know you listen, got I got what I need. You know it ain't got nothing to do, to do with the Wi-Fi, wi honey. It's the area I'm in right now. I'm not even at home. It's the area I'm in right now. It got nothing to do with the Wi-Fi. When I ask questions, if you answer them, everything is easy. As you just saw with V, every time I asked the question, we had a whole backstory. We had a whole 
thousand things that I ain't never got to the conclusion. I actually am wide awake. I probably would have hung up on her too. But here's the challenge we have with mm -hmm. women. The more questions, not all women, so let me say that because it's, it's not a reality for all the women. But the more questions I ask to get is a majority for all to the roots, the more they don't want to answer. The more all of a sudden we get a different answer that, that contradicts the first answer. And at some time, child, this is exhausting. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this. She does not represent all black women. So I want to be clear on that. We've had I don't I don't like representation. Michelle Obama's a black woman. Sexy Red is a black woman. OK, mm -hmm. so therefore you can't make a blanket statement that applies to all women when it comes to a race. She represents herself. She represents herself. Now, here is the problem that we're having. There are some women who do not want to hear the truth about the responsibilities of what they're playing and the roles in their life. And that's just the facts of life. You want to talk in circles all day long. You do not want to get to the root that you play the role and the reality that you're living right now. And because of this role that you played, mm -hmm. you are still attracting a certain person or a certain type of person. And again, I want to be clear, she does not represent all black women. This is not a black woman issue. This is a No, it is a black woman issue because there's a majority of black women that come on your pay your channel that look that act like this. So it is a problem. Problem is you don't want to dog on address the actual issue because it puts honest on y'all as a collective and y'all don't want that so at this point in time y'all need to take responsibility for y'all's mess because this is this this is y'all problem can't blame this on brothers can't blame this on anybody else this is on y'all and i'm sorry y'all she started making my head hurt that's why I, that's why i pulled back she started making my head hurt, and I'm about, and I'm about to spaz the fuck out. So I'm gonna just, I, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all in the comments have this one because, yeah, I'm, about, I'm, I'm, I'm two seconds away from literally fucking cussing a bitch out because they don't make no damn sense. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe to the I'll see you guys on the flip side, and thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.